Hello again. This is it, y'all. This is video five. These are the last two. So I'm going to try to get through these um, fairly quickly. And uh, anyway, so this is a Four Little Kittens and the Friendly Book. And both of these, along with, I forgot to mention, along with the Three Little Bears, were gifted to me from the, um, by the Sweet Renee over at GT designs and vintage art supplies so y'all need to definitely go check her out if y'all don't already know who she is um she's awesome so the tie on this one is uh, this one is backed with scraps of uh just a plain blue color quilt and these are other little uh, scraps of quilted squares and these are actually from one that i picked up at my favorite shop and cut up so, and it's a little more, it's a little rougher looking, I think, but I think it goes to the, I kind of wanted it like that because it goes with the four little kittens, you know, and kittens, you know, like the, I don't know, I just, it just went well, uh, but it's stitched several times and it's just, it's really cute, I like the way it turned out. And then the little charm on this one says noted and it's just got a little um, piece of dyed like seam binding this was some that jess sent me jessica sent me and uh some little buttons vintage buttons and it's really cute now on this one i didn't mention before on this one and the little golden book about god it's kind of a rounded spine i did sort of a rounded spine on it so if you can see that okay so it gives it a little bit different look and here's the really cool wood vintage button on this one a key and little beads and buttons on this one and oh and on the spine are some of my handmade buttons and then some beautiful um, buttons that were gifted to me these little buttons right here were all gifted to me um those the little yellow and blue see they've got like a they're really pretty, really pretty little buttons. And this is a part of a, the fabric is a pillowcase. It's like a, um, like a seersucker type material. I just thought it went really cute with the little kittens. And right here I took some little quilt pieces and made some little banners and stitched on them and put the little buttons there. And I just thought it was adorable with the little kittens. I love this book. It's got a little bit more wear. Um, this one and Dumbo, I think, have a little more wear on the covers than some of the other ones, but I think that adds to the charm of the book. So you open this one up, and just that one piece of fabric on this one, and there's tabs, and I didn't do this with any of the other ones, but I love doing this because it really shows you kind of the, it's just, I don't know, it's just fun to do. But, <laughs> Um, use some of the cantha fabrics in here and some washi. There was a little tear up here, so I put some washi up there. And this book is 1957. And look at that little kitty cat. Cute, so cute. If you can see that, if my camera will focus, but it is, this is an older one as well. So I kind of like, I like the newer ones, but I do like the charm of the, I do like the charm of some of the older ones that are a little more rare to find. So I'm gonna, these last two, I'm gonna try to go through a little bit quicker. Um, these are from some really cool, I say that, but watch me not. Um, really, really cool vintage, like little kids reading type workbooks that were sent to me in some happy mail. Uh, the envelope. This is a little, um, the ladybug is like a children's book. That was actually the cover made into a pocket. This is, I love this. This is vellum and I stuck some really cool little pieces in here. This came from a, um, this came from a art book and I cut her out and backed her on a little bit of chipboard, but I thought it was cute with the little fish and the cat. So I stuck her in here. Um, and just some other little pieces, a little circle. This actually got some foam tape on the back of it. For the little kitty cat. Dick and Jane. Cantha fabric and buttons. 
the um, buttons in the middle of the signature. The other side of that vellum, and there's some other little goodies tucked in there for you. This is a real pretty, um, this came from some seed um, feed sack fabrics, and I cut it up and put a little, a little vintage button there, a silver vintage button. Um, this particular thing had some cats on it, so anything that kind of had cats on it, and then just made a pocket there. The other um, side of the envelope that you can open up, and I put washi in the little milk, little milk cap, little fabric pieces, or a little tuck. The other side of that um, workbook page. And this is a thicker, this is a mixed media tea dyed paper here. A pocket with the stitching, some goodies tucked in here. Um, really cute, big cat flash card. Another children's workbook. Some really nice, this is a little bit thicker textured scrapbook paper. It's textured on one side, scrapbook paper. And just kind of a you know, manila color on the other side. This came from that patchwork quilt. I thought it was cute because it had the cat and the lion on it. <laughs> this is one of those little recipe pages with a little cat drawing from a kid. So if you love kitty cats, and then these little pockets. And um, some of these pockets, like when I took the scrapbook paper, and I don't think I mentioned this before, but if you notice there's a strip on them that's stitched on there, when you get a scrapbook pad, and sometimes they come with the strips at the top that you can tear off. So what I did with those, since they matched and coordinated, and a lot of these pockets, I just took the strip and tore it off and stitched it on, uh, just to give it a little more interest on the pockets. I really put a lot of, um, a lot of thought, a lot of time, a lot of work, um, a lot of love into these little books. I, I have a fetish, apparently, with them. But it's a good one, I think. I think it's a good addiction to have to something like this, though. It's so adorable. and would These would make such great, you know, just such great journals. Um, great keepsakes as gifts, you know, for Christmas or if you just want to... You know, if you just love cats or bears or, you know, if you just love the golden books, a journal, a personal journal for yourself, um, for kids, of course, they make great baby books. Just the possibilities are endless. More of that beautiful cantha fabric. Child's book pages. Um, the workbook pages. The buttons in the middle of the signatures. And I'm starting to lose my light, so I'm, I'm glad this is the last video. Um, and then a couple of little bags and the little CD, the little CD thing in the back with your uh, paper clip, and then. I stuck the little bingo card and some um, paper left over. This is some, uh, oh my gosh, I'm losing my brain now. The uh, tracing paper that I tea dyed. And on this one, I just did a, a pocket with this beautiful, I love this fabric. Um, this was also in some Happy Mail. You know, I did buy a lot of these things, y'all, but um, and have collected a lot of things, but I had a lot of, a lot of bits and pieces from people who have sent me things. And this was uh, some of that fabric. And this is actually used on the binding of the friendly book. But I loved it. And I still have some of that left. And then that is the back of that one. So that is the four little kittens. Adorable. At least I think so. And then here's the friendly book. I had never seen this one. And I thought it was so cute. Um, and Renee found it um, somewhere in her in and her searching for things, she found it and she had it in her shop. And I told her, I said, well, you know, I want that. And um, she sent it to me. <laughs> she sent it to me along with the four little kittens. And 
and the other uh, three bears. But here's the tie, because she's awesome. She just does stuff like that. Um, so here's the tie on this one. And it's similar to uh, a couple of the other ones. And you, you'll see the different fabrics have been used on several, you know, ones in a different way. So, and this one's backed on muslin. And then this little charm has a little, sorry. This little charm has a little turtle and a little bead, little buttons, little bitty things on it. And the charm on this book, of course, has more beautiful vintage buttons, glass beads, some wood beads, a key, there's a little butterfly. I love that. I love this little these little blue glass beads right here. That one and that one. They're so pretty. So that's that. And then here's that fabric again that I used on the cover. And this spine, this spine is also rounded. And then here are the buttons on this one. So there are four of my handmade buttons and then um, similar ones to the other one, to the four little kittens. And this book is just so cute. Friendly little book, the friendly book. And Margaret Wise is the illustrator in this one. And this one does have, I tried to get, you can see it says matte. It's very faintly there. I did not cover it up. Um, I tried to get that off of there. I know some people um, like that, that adds to the charm to them. I'd usually try to cover it up, but it doesn't bother me that bad either. This book is 1975, and it's a really cute little story. It just talks about um, things that, um, I'll show you in a minute, things that you like. Here's one of those little recipe pages, ledger. Um, patchwork quilt book, cardstock, a little tuck, cantha with the little, with the, um, buttons. Yeah, I'm really getting tired, y'all. This one made into a little pocket down here. So this just talks about what, I like cars and I like boats and I like people and stuff like that. So it's all kind of positive things about what, um, this little character likes. So like I like cars and oh, it's really cute. And that's the envelope, Dick and Jane. And then I like trains, so it's all about trains in here. And then here's the little I did use the little butterfly, one of my little butterflies that's um, for the little closure here, and some washi. And that is, this is a, if you can see it, it's a, one of my kind of butterfly charms or buttons, so it's thick, but it's not super thick, but it's, it's not just paper. A little fabric tuck on the back side. Ledger, just a ledger clip. A pocket with goodies tucked in there. One of the books pages talks about I like stars. I like snow. That's a little um, crafting kids craft book page. Dictionary golden book page. Richard um, Skyry. Is it scary or scary? I don't know. I was being kind of silly earlier saying Richard Skyry, <laughs> but um, I always said Richard Scary, but I'm from the South, so hey. This little envelope just um, clipped in there with a heart paper clip. Another one of those really cool uh, workbook reading pages. Another child craft. That one's about bunnies. The middle of this signature with the pockets and the buttons and a bunch of stuff tucked in for you to play with. Other side of that. The pocket in here um, is uh, from a quilt square and then I just did the little, 
I like the contrast in these colors, so I did this little pocket like that. And that's got some little hearts. And there's a little bunny, little bunny, little thumper bunny that I cut out. Fussy cut from a Bambi book in there. Tons and tons of real estate in all of these books. I like dogs. So you know this is old, because you see this dog right here? He's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I may shouldn't have pointed that out, but that's that's funny. So you know, you might want yeah, to cover that up if you, if you get this for a kid's book. Oh, anyway. This is a pocket. Another pocket. I like boats. All kinds of boats. Sailboats, whale boats, toting boats, hooting boats, tooting boats, hooting boats, whistles. Bunch of stuff tucked in there for you. Another pocket music page. Little um, one of my handmade buttons and then a little button attached with a little bow pin. I think this is cute. Good dog. Another one of those little recipe pages I stitched on. And then you know, the last page is about I like people. Glad people, sad people, slow people, mad people, big people, little people. I like people. So I just thought it was really cute. And then here's the um, some extra little goodies. And then on the front and the back, I did some more vintage lace um, because I just thought it was so pretty in here. So there's like a vintage lace and a vintage ribbon on the front and on the and on the back cover. And that is the back. Okay, so those are the 10 little golden book journals. And I hope you all like them. Thank you for being patient with me. Um, I hope you watch the videos. And and they're all um, listed, currently listed in my Etsy shop, Carla E. Creations. And I'll post the link um, in with the videos on my Facebook page. Apologies for not being able to load these to YouTube right now. I've got to figure out that issue. And I don't even know if I can figure it out because it's an Apple issue right now. So, anyway, thanks again. And I had a lot of fun. And I hope y'all like these. And um, please leave a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. Go subscribe to my channel. Um, hopefully, I'll have the YouTube thing worked out soon. And anyway, um, like my page. Go check out my shop. I also have... 15% uh, off right now any hundred dollar purchase and I took some of the other things in my shop I've marked down um, Just because I you know kind of want to I want to get them out of the shop and want to run out of space So anyway, love you guys. Have a great day